So good afternoon everybody and welcome to our next little lecture. Um, today's lecture is all about how to improve your model's fit, your me measurement model's um, fit in order to get the best fitting model for your data. So I'm going to show you basically uh, two, maybe three techniques and hopefully you will learn something important uh, for the rest of the day. So we'll be utilizing the same data set and the same syntax that we've done um, in the past and you can come along uh, for the ride with me. So what we'll be doing is we want to, um, this is our measurement model, the best fitting one so far, it's made up of person environment fit as a second order factor, happiness is a one uh, factor model and task performance is a one factor model. And this is kind of like the one that we want to test. Um, everything is pretty much the same. The only thing that we're asking now additionally is we're asking for it to also M plus to give us what we call modification indices. Um, and the little 10 behind it says that any number um, of chi-square that can be decreased by 10, anything, whether it's a correlation, whether it's a, a removing of a, like changing how items load or whatever, anything that will reduce chi-square by at least 10 will show up. So I already know so uh, what, the, what the impact is, I'm just going to say 50, just to reduce the amount of um, things that show up. So let's run it and let's see. So we go as usual, we go down to our model fit statistics and here it is. So what do you see, right? We see that our model almost, almost fits. So we have, we want at least like 0 0.9, but that's, we really want to get up to at least like 0 0.95. That's like the, the, the gold standard. So that doesn't meet the criteria. This is almost non significant. So it doesn't meet the criteria, although it is smaller than 0 0.8 and chi square is significant. Now, spoiler alert, nothing that we're going to do is going to make chi square non significant. Sorry. Why? Because our sample size is really small. It's about 300 people. So um, it doesn't matter what we do, our model is just not complex enough uh, to be able to get that down. So the first way that we can kind of like look to improve fit, oh wait, let me just copy and paste this because I want to compare this later. So I'm going to just paste this in Notepad. So the first thing that we do is we go down to standardized results. And here we look at the factor loadings. Now we kind of want factor loadings bigger than 0 0.4, right? Um, and here we can clearly see that item six um, is a really bad uh, item. It loads only 0 0.13 on happiness and almost non-significant, right? So um, although we don't really want to remove items, it's very clear that this thing is messing up our entire system. So I am going to remove it. So that's the first way that you can improve fit, removing non-significant items with poor loadings. So it was item six, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to remove it here and then I'm just going to run it. Go down to model fit statistics, there we go and let's compare it to what we had. All right, so of course chi-square is a lot smaller than it was previously. Uh, our RMC is now non-significant, yay, where it wasn't before. Um, but again, this is barely um, acceptable, right? 0 0.9 and 0 0.91 is barely uh, acceptable. And chi-square, like I said, is still non-significant. So although the model has improved significantly, we have to still improve it a little bit more. Why? Because as soon as we convert this to our structural model, the fit, if we have a bad structural model, the fit will probably decrease. So I'm just going to copy and paste the model fit information here. And I'm going to show you another technique. Um, like I said, we requested the modification indices um, at the end, but I first want to just check all the items are still loading significantly. They're all bigger than 0.4, although number 10 is a major issue. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave number 10 in for now because I wanna show you the second technique that we can utilize, all right? Because we really don't wanna delete um, items we don't have to. So 
anything bigger than 50 that will decrease chi-square by 50 will show up in our analysis now because we specified it as mod 50. So if we correlate item, uh, the error variances on item 2 and 12 on happiness scale, it will decrease chi-square by almost 70%, like 70 points. Now I know um, you're asking me why these two factors. These two things kind of measure pleasure. I know this from, from theory. So we can only correlate two items uh, or error variance of two items if they are theoretically allowed to correlate. So if they're related, and at least I know theoretically they are. So I can correlate them. So I'm going to copy this and I am going to just paste it in here, that word statement, and then I'm going to run it. Now I know there won't be other modification indices bigger than 50, so I'm just going to maybe just decrease this to like 20. Right? So I'm going to run it, save it, go down to my model fit statistics. Okay, let's see what happened versus this one. Oh, look at that. First thing I see, major improvement here where we had 0 0.59, barely non-significant, now it's completely non-significant. It's smaller than 0 0.5, chi-square is a lot smaller than that, AIC and BIC values are smaller, um, CFI and TLI are significantly better, so 9.3 and 9.3, uh, uh, 93 and 93, here it's 91 and 90, and uh, that one is kind of uh, the same. So our model looks is looking a lot better. So again, we're going down to standardized estimates, just making sure that all the items load significantly. Perfect. You see now this one is also changed, um, but it's still not that good. Um, but I'm going to keep it in for a little bit. Let's see. So if I correlate now task perform the error variance on task performance two and task performance these two items, it will decrease chi-square by um, 40, right? So I'm going to just copy this again, just to show you. I'm gonna paste it in there. And I'm going to just correlate these two error terms with one another to see if it will improve fit. So we run it, we save it. We go down to our model, fit statistics. Statistics. Let's compare. A lot better, right? See that. Um, smaller than 0 0.5 now, super non significant. This is 0 0.95, 0 0.94. So overall, this model seems to be the best fitting model for the data. Okay, so this is kind of like the one I would uh, go with. Um, maybe just one last thing. Let's just see what would happen if we would remove item 10 because item 10 showed to be a bit of a, an issue. So if we remove item 10, let's just see for argument's sake what will happen with our fit. Okay. So let's see. So it did improve slightly. So that's down by two, so it's not really that much. Chi-square is down by uh, about 40, 50. Um, there's no real major change here, no major change there. So overall, I would not remove item 10 because if we sacrifice item 10, um, we don't get as much benefit um, from it, all right? So I hope this little lecture kind of helped you to help improve your model fit and let me know if you have any questions.